The topic of this week is endogeneity. What is endogeneity? Let's write down a generic regression model with two regressors. So on the left hand side we have outcome y and we know that this here can be thought of as, as an output of a production process and then here on the right hand side we have a combination of all the inputs. So first we have the regression curve and here the two regressors x1 and x2 are observed inputs and finally we have our error term u and u gives the combined effect of all other inputs. For all s to work in the sense that all s can separate the effect of any of the axis from the effect of u, we require something that is called an exogeneity assumption. The OLS exogeneity assumption says that the conditional expectation of u given x1 and x2 is zero. Intuitively means that we cannot use the regressors to predict the level of u. That is, from observing x1, we cannot figure out whether u is large or small. In the same way, we cannot use information in x2 or information that we obtain by combining what we observe for x1 and x2. So none of that information is informative about u. If the OLS exogeneity assumption does not hold, then we say that the regressors are endogenous and then we have an endogeneity problem. So that's what endogeneity means. Here are the goals of this week. First, we want to understand endogeneity a little better and we'll do this through identifying scenarios where the exogeneity assumption fails. In particular, we're going to look at omitted variables, at measurement error, and what I call equilibrium conditions. Other econometricians call this last problem the problem of simultaneous equations. For our second goal, we're going to look at scenarios where exogeneity fails so where we have an endogeneity problem, we cannot find a model specification such that the error term satisfies this. For scenarios where we have an endogeneity problem, we want to look at an alternative estimation strategy that does not require this kind of exogeneity assumption. It requires a different, maybe weaker exogeneity assumption. And this estimation approach is called instrumental variable regression. or just IV regression.